Alright, YouTube, how's it going? It's me, Aleki. Thank you for stopping by. As always, and today I bring you a video where I'm going to be talking to you guys about Singe Gaming. Now, this is my first Call of Duty Advanced Warfare tip. And um, first of all, guys, I'm not being paid to make this video by Singe Gaming. Um, I simply just have a sponsorship with Cinch Gaming. So if you guys use code Alki, all capitalized, you guys can get 5% off, you know, your Cinch Gaming order. Maybe you guys want to buy a hat, a hoodie, get your swag on, or you guys just simply need a controller like a Cinch 1, Cinch PS4, Cinch PS3, or a Cinch Xbox 360 controller. I don't know. Whatever you guys are buying Cinch Gaming, if you guys use code Alki, all capitalized, you guys get 5% off. You guys are helping me out. I'm helping you out by saving a couple bucks. Then you're helping out yourself, you know, by getting something that's going to help you out in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So yeah, guys, it's a win-win. Anyways guys, this is not cheating, I just have to get it out there, this is not cheating, this is not a mod that's going to give you rapid fire, it's going to give you auto aim, aim bots, I don't know, whatever the case may be that's cheating, it's not, this this controller is not going to do it. Um, as you can see here, this is MLG approved, so you guys can take these to the big tournaments, which is Major League Gaming, and use them, it's fair game, 80% of the pros use something similar, and not just that guys, but it does the same function, you know, it, it might not be a cinch gaming controller, but it's, you know, it does the same function, and it's, it, it's pretty much the same controller, it's an Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller. But anyways, guys, if you guys go to Cinch Gaming, make sure to go down on the website and check this out. I honestly believe that this is really good, you know? So why choose a Cinch? I'll give you guys five reasons, and in the end, I'll tell you guys something that you guys might want to hear. So yeah, that's about it, but I'm going to explain to you guys why this is my tip, and I'm going to show you guys how to customize the controller here, and um, yeah, so let's get started. We're going to go to customize. By the way, guys, if you guys have any questions that I didn't really touch here, uh, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. So obviously, I'm on Xbox, and we're going to be playing on Xbox One with the new Call of Duty game, so we're going to go to Cinch One. Here's the controller, and it tells you guys how to customize, so, here, so it's, this, it's this type up here, and um, we're going to go with something different. Since Advanced Warfare is almost out, we're going to celebrate by using this as an example. Alright guys, so here's the deal. You have one thumb, which is your right thumb, and your right thumb goes on the right analog stick, as you can see here. Now, guys, why are Cinch controllers important? Because they have buttons under the controllers. Now, this is not cheating. Why? Because you only have one thumb to control your analog stick, the A button, the B button, the Y button, the X button. You know what I'm saying? Now, what we're going to do is that instead of you know jumping all the time, by having your, your thumb leave the analog stick and go to the A button all the time, boom, boom. You know, instead of going back and forth, you can just simply click the A button on your controller. Now you click this with your middle finger. Now your middle finger is just sitting there. It's useless. It's just sitting there, you know? So we want to make it work, you know? You got to work. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click the A button with our middle finger to jump while our thumb is still on the, on the analog stick. So now in Advanced Warfare, we're going to be jumping a lot. It's a new thing, and um, we're going to be needing this button. So we're go we're going to be moving, you know, and aiming down sides, you know, looking around, and um, instead of you know stop, you know, doing what we're doing here on the analog stick, and then click the A button, we can just keep doing what we're doing here and just simply click the A button. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna help you out a lot, and um, it's a really really good thing. Now the same thing with B. Um, if you guys play on tactical like I do, a lot of competitive gamers out there play on tactical. Um, you don't have to be competitive to play on tactical, but you know a lot of us prefer it. Um, we knife with B button. You know we don't click the right analog stick. This is what we drop shot with. Um, so instead of you know making our thumb go all the way across town to the B button, you know even if you do it fast, there's if you're playing against really good players that have really good reaction times and they have a cinch controller, they're just gonna click this button be, um, under the controller with their middle finger. You know once again the middle fingers are just sitting there in controller, they're not doing anything. So you know make them do something. Like PC players, they have all their fingers you know moving around. Us as console gamers, we just have our thumbs to control all this right here. So we're gonna you know be smart about it and use our middle finger that's not doing anything and click the B button to knife someone. So we're moving around and instead of and instead of you know getting your thumb and uh, moving it all the way across down to B, um, we're just gonna simply click the B button. So you're moving around, you're using analog sticks and um, your fingers, your middle fingers under the controller are going to be doing the A and B button work. So you're gonna be doing all this work down here. So that's why this is not cheating, guys. It's just helping you out. A lot of pros are using similar controllers. If you guys like Optic, Phase, TK, um, MV, you know, whatever the, whatever Call of Duty team you like, they all use something similar and it's helping you out. It's not cheating. Now, moving on to the second thing about the Cinch controller. Um, you don't have to get this, but a lot of pros do use it, which is trigger stops. I love trigger stops. Now, when you're playing Call of Duty, you don't have to click the whole trigger to aim down sights or to shoot. You know, all you got to do is like click um, halfway through. And these things are stop. These trigger stops obviously stop you from you pressing the whole trigger. Now you're wasting your time pressing the whole trigger when you aim down sights and you're 
firing, you're wasting your time by just clicking the whole trigger. So you have a really good reaction time, you have a really good trigger finger, uh, these things are going to come in really handy. So yeah, this is why this controller is good, especially that we're going to be playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, you want to be really good at it, you want to win, you have friends that like winning and you guys just love winning, you guys might want to you know, invest in these controllers and it's going to help you out and you guys will probably be unstoppable. I don't know, if you guys have a clan or a GB team, you know, these controllers are a really good investment. If you guys are actually taking um, competitive gaming really serious, uh, you might want to use one of these. And um, another thing I want to touch, um, well, I'm kind of done with the, you know, explaining why these controllers are good and how they help you out. But another thing I want to um, touch about Cinch Gaming is that they let you customize your controller to the to the max. All right, so maybe for you ladies out there, I know there's a lot of ladies out there that like gaming, and I honestly like this controller a lot. Not because I'm a lady, I'm a dude. So yeah, just putting that out there, guys. Um, but I, this this looks legit. Look at it. Um, I was you know messing around and uh, I was like, you know what, this looks really nice. And you can go to uh, you can customize your Xbox guide button. You guys probably want a red LED or whatever the case may be. But since we're picking uh, pink, we can go with a pink LED. And um, here's the buttons. Um, you can use sinister black. Oops. I didn't click on it. Sinister black and look at that. That looks nice. That looks nice. Or maybe you guys just simply want like, I don't know, purple buttons and there you go. Or maybe, you know, there's dudes out there that don't really like pink. So maybe you guys want to get like a hydro blue. Look at that. It looks really nice. And um, your trim kit can, oh, we'll leave it black. And your buttons, you guys can make your buttons uh, blue, hydro blue. And look at that. It looks really nice. And uh, your, um, well, that's the front shell. We can go with the Xbox guide button and we can pick blue and that looks really nice. Or with the buttons, uh, we can go to send this to black, and that looks legit. So yeah, guys, this is how you guys can customize it. Maybe you guys, you know, go to high school. You guys want to get your high school colors. I don't know what your high school colors are, but oh, that's why. But maybe you guys um, need a uh, orange, and then maybe you guys want to get like a a um, green LED, and um, we're gonna leave that to black. And the uh, buttons, maybe you guys want to get uh, green. And uh, yeah, so I don't know, whatever high school you're going to or whatever football team you like, a uh, Call of Duty team, I don't know, you guys want to re make it um, related to anything, you guys can just, you know, pick the colors and, you know, have it there. So that's why I really like Cinch Gaming, I really think it's a good thing. Um, see, you can you see here, it's um, not that expensive. Um, there's other companies out there that go over like $200 on these controllers, but this is something really good, which... You know you are saving money and if you guys use the um, code alloc all capitalized you guys will get five percent off anything so you guys buy, buy, buy a controller or a hat or anything and you guys get five percent off by using code alloc so that's it guys this is not cheating this just helps you out becoming a really good player this is my first tip for call of duty advanced warfare if you guys have any questions please do leave a comment down below i will answer them and once again guys like this video if you like it subscribe for more videos i will have a xbox one unboxing here on my youtube channel soon it's the call of duty advanced warfare console and um yeah yeah, so if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to see some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay, I will upload that too. And soon I'll have a Cinch controller here for you guys so you guys can see me playing it. You, you guys will see um, uh, my hands in the webcam with the controller and some gameplay running in the background so you guys can see how it works. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video.